Welcome back to the Mage playthrough, everyone. This is a important episode. We got some progress to get done here. But first, I know this is a Mage-only thing, but I'm going to do this and everyone's going to hate me. I don't care. I'm making this prehistoric Amber Staff because I just want a little dude to help me every now and then. Look at that. Now I got a bunch of friends. I got like a Peach, a Pink Slime, and then a Pterodactyl. But yeah, we are ready to fight the Wall of Flesh. Let me just get a quick reforge on this. Ruthless, perfect. But uh, it's Wall of Flesh time. We got potions on deck, a lot of them, probably more than we need. And the arena is looking beautiful too. I guess let me just I'll use the gauntlet until we fight him. But yeah, let's head on down. Probably should stay to the left a little bit more. We are going down. Hold up. Uh, what the fuck was that? I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. That was like kind of scary. What that noise was. Let's run through, get a bunch of mushrooms real quick, for right when we enter hard mode, there's some stuff we can accomplish right away. What's going on right now? What's happening right now? Why didn't this mushroom tree, why didn't that last mushroom tree give me anything? Okay, they really like have a low yielding amount of uh, mushrooms they give you, I guess. Did not know that, I thought they gave a decent amount of mushrooms. Alright. We're just collecting the mushrooms though for hard mode. And you guys will see why once we enter. Hopefully we can actually I don't know if we can take one on as soon as we enter hard mode. But there's stuff we're gonna be doing in the underworld once we enter hard mode. And don't think we can do that stuff right away, but we are gonna just stay down there and see what happens once we enter hard mode. But yeah, I think my wall of flesh arena is more than capable of fighting the wall of flesh. Look at that, that's like the longest bridge I've ever made. Maybe I over-prepared, maybe I prepared just enough, or maybe I under-prepared. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when the fight comes. Can I break that? No, no, all right. I didn't get anything for breaking it. That one, no, nothing, all right, well. See, as the mushroom biome is being a piece of shit right now, I'm giving me too many things that I want. No problem, dude, no problem, all right. Let's, uh, let's throw out some unimportant stuff here. All right, let's head down. We are going to fight him from the right, and we will slowly move on to the left. Hopefully, I remember to pick up all my campfires and heart lanterns that I have down here. Oh, dude, blink roots are already starting to grow. I like that. Yeah, let's head on over here, and let's, let's goddamn do this. I'm ready for this. Hold oh, chill out there. Um, really quick. Controls. Quick mana is C. C. Remember that. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let us do this. Let me get rid of that. C. C. It is C. Alright. Go time, baby. Alright. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop. Alright. Right off the bat, this is what we're going for. We are going for killing primarily the wall of flesh. Oh, God. Okay. I might have used too many potions right there. But yeah. When we run out of mana. Oh, I need that mana. Really need that mana. Uh, when we run out of mana. We will obviously just switch to a non-mana using weapon, aka the uh, ray gun, ray gun, space gun, whatever, and we will just use that. I think we should be pretty much fine, because we got heart reach on deck. Oh, that got dead as hell. This dude is gigantic. <laughs> just this, just this big eye, just the top eye though. <laughs> not that eye, not that big. That top eye though, that's, that's pretty big ass eye. Alright, I'm gonna switch to this gun. There's a stealthy leech, life leech right there. We have more than enough room to work with here. I don't even think I need to use a potion. So I am going to switch to this. Now get these hard hits in there. It's actually one of my hardest hitting weapons is this weapon. It does use a fuck ton of mana. But it hits so hard, it's like no reason not to use it. Danger spirits of light and dark have been released. I did not get what I wanted from this at all. Like, literally nothing will help me from all that. <laughs> but yeah, we did it. Boom, bada, bing. Nice and easy. That wasn't too bad at all. Now, we are going to stay down here and hopefully try and find some enemies. I don't know if they spawn after a certain enemy or what. I think they don't. I didn't read anything about them doing that. But there's some new enemies from Thorium in the Underworld. One of them is a Mimic. One of them is an Underworld Hound or something like that. And the cool thing about the Underworld Hound is he does indeed drop some items 
Same thing with the Mimic, of course. The Mimic does have some cool stuff. I don't know how to make the Mimic stuff. We'll figure that out later. In the meantime, let me gather up all my Heart Lanterns and stuff. I know I missed that Heart Lantern. Oops. I was too busy, like, looking at something. Looking at my my beautiful Castle Crasher mask. Look at that. Sexy, right? You know what's weird? To change the... Well, I need a die trader, but... If you want to change the die, like, through the Tremor recipe, you need three of each piece of armor to change the die, which is weird. you think it'd be the other way around. And the way you change it is three pieces of armor and then a gem of the color you want to change it to. Really weird that it isn't the one piece of armor and then three gems of the color you want to change to. Maybe that's a glitch, I don't know. But uh, if it is, hopefully it will get fixed. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen any like glimpses of new enemies. I almost forgot this again. Come on. Where's the underworld hound at? I want to see this baby. I want to see him. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Okay, here he is right here. Infernal hound. That's what it's called. Didn't drop anything. I think it's a rare drop. So we get, do got to be on the lookout here. Oh, God. Chill out now. Oh, this guy's sparkling. This guy's sparkling. What's happening? Why isn't this stuff working? Like, stop working all of a sudden. Choice token. These are ass. I don't like them. We got a ninja emblem. We got, should I become a throwing character again? This this arena, I barely use any of it. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> we didn't get to use too much of the arena. I put in like an hour of off-camera off work. No, I didn't just work on the arena in that hour, but I did a lot. Like, I made houses and stuff. This dude's up here now just for fun. This is an the interesting area. We'll see that later. Uh, this looks like a pickaxe. And then I, I'm slowly making my way to having making everyone have a house. I wouldn't say their own themed house, but definitely making everyone slowly get their own house. Oh, can this guy drop that scale? I kind of want that scale. But yeah, I guess I will farm these guys. Try and farm these guys. And then if I get a drop, I will show you guys. Oh, shit. Hey, scale! We got it from the the, the serpent dude. I, I don't remember what this does. Enemy, enemies that directly attack you. Oh, I thought that said defense decrease. I was about to say. Um, <laughs> it's not often I have hollowed areas this big, like ever. Don't like this. Oh, they're still allowed to move their house. Hello, Carlo. You, you join your home? I was gonna put someone else in here, but he, hey, he moved in on his own. He moved in on his own tuition. Like, he really wanted to move in in there. Alright, very interesting. Oh, dude, I've never seen these enemies before. These are military enemies. They're just like variations. I've seen the ghouls before, though. But this is a special one. This dude looks cool. He looks so cool. He's a cool ghoul. I'm trying to see his name. It's like something D. D ghoul. Hit me with confusion. Like an asshole. Oh my god, the confusion lasts forever. Okay, this is one of my favorite biomes though, is the hollow desert. It looks so cool, like look at it. That shit's so cool. Yeah, we need souls. Souls of light, souls of night. Five of each, so we can fight this new mimic. That's what I really wanna do. We don't have any geysers. This is a new feature from 1.3. We don't have any of those. Uh, because, you know, we didn't generate this world in 1.3. These dudes look tiny. So tiny. Come on, bring it. Where the new and holy shit. We went from tiny to gigantic. Dreamer ghoul, that's what they're called. Very cool. Voodoo soul, bye bye. Should we get like uh the was it like hollowed spirit enemies in here too? Hollowed desert spirit? I don't know. I feel like we should. Holy fuck. Okay, we're good. Don't drop a soul, please. Thank god he didn't drop a soul. I don't gotta go over there. I see an invisible dude up here. I saw him. There he is. There he is. Ah, look at that. Keen eye vision, baby. Here we are. Corruption time. We are going to destroy some stuff. Okay, altars. How you doing? You're glowing. This dude fucking applies curse. I couldn't do anything there. Hold up. I picked up a sapphire token. Godly bless rapier. Counterattacks deal 2.5 damage. Uh, I think I'm fine. I really need to do 2.5 damage at this moment. Yeah, let's destroy some of these. I'll keep that one. That's the closest one. Can I get once one of everything? I don't care, actually. 
Just destroy a bunch of them. Let's fight multiple of these dudes at once, shall we? That, he was low-key really weak. Alright, so, now that we got, you know, corruption spreading, hopefully we can find a nice underground corruption area. And with the underground corruption area, we can, you know, gather up some souls of night. And see if we can make some new mimics here that I can get my ass beat by. Because I feel like I will not be able to beat any of them. But you know, it's worth a try. Okay, so, just chilling in the crimson biome, underground. I was able to get five. So let us make... Oh, you can actually make the Plague Doctor set really early. Let us make Key of Fire. Charged with the essence of many flames. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, let's also... We gotta craft a chest. Let's have a chest just chilling around somewhere. Do not think I do. So I'll make my own. Boom, bada, bing. Next. Let us grab... Does Avalon sell anything else? Do you sell... Well, he sells the Mana Dagger. It's a lot of gold for a weapon that's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I don't care that much about it. We'll get gold from, hopefully, this mimic, and maybe I can buy some stuff from it. But I heard the Dryad's supposed to be selling something uh, from this potion mod I added in, this advanced potion mod. She's not actually selling anything, so I don't know if I'm missing a step. Once you enter hard mode, she's supposed to start selling them. But uh, maybe I missed something, and she's not selling them because I missed that thing. No problem. Let's... let's. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Shit, I already had a potion that had that ability on it. Whatever. This is a really good weapon, is what I've been noticing in this. Um, in hard mode so far. It's been helping me a lot. Killing a lot of enemies really quickly. But let's head down to hell. Actually, we don't even gotta head down to hell. Yeah, why am I going down to hell when I don't need to? What the fuck? You really gonna do me like that, Basilisk? Alright, peace out. Do I have any arena set up? Not really. Alright, well, let's just uh, fight this guy, I guess. I wonder if that landed on him once I summoned him. Alright, so. I guess I'll do it this way. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Hellbringer Mimic. This. Ow! I forgot how fast these guys are. Uh, war. I don't fight them often. When I do, you know. I forget how fast they are. These are actually one of my scariest, one of the scariest enemies that I think personally to go against. They're just scary, dude. Look at this. Chill out now. But we're doing okay on health. I'm just gonna shoot this at you multiple times. You know, let my mana get up a little bit before I, you know, start going all out again. Uh oh, uh oh, ooh, we juked them there. So hopefully. We get a nice drop here. I'm looking for a grappling hook. I think he drops a grappling hook. Okay. Maybe a magic weapon? I know there is a mimic that drops a magic weapon. We'll fight that mimic probably in the next episode because I need to start gathering a bunch of stuff. You know, I need to acclimate. Acclimate? Is that the right word? I don't know. But I need to, you know, slowly move into hard mode. Get used to hard mode on this character. Because I am very, very much enjoying this character. And I am doing a lot of things that I usually don't like to do on other characters. And I'm taking my time a lot with this character. This mimic looks so cool. And I made the... <laughs> you can tell I'm taking my time with this character because I made the Wall of Flesh Arena 10 times bigger than it needed to be. Whatever, you know, I'm just, just being cautious. Oh, there we go. I did pick this up while I was down there. Maybe I can make some use out of this. It's really hard to make a use out on it. Use out of it against the mimic. Well, I didn't even see him jump. I was just kind of just jumping in the air for fun, and he jumped in the air too. He's trying to he's trying to chomp me right out of the sky. Mimic, you're going down, dude. It's like you're so slow. They're pretty slow. If you have the mobility against them, they can't really do anything at all. Like, look at that. What are you gonna do? You're trying to. You know how Kirby in Super Smash Bros. He can, like, turn into that rock and, like, stomp on you? That's what I feel like this guy is trying to do to me. Except for he's not a rock, he's a chest with a mouth. Get up. Get up, sir. Stop trying to hold back the inevitable death you're about to receive. Boom, bada. Fuck, it's a gun. Scorn. Come on, dude. I mean, I got a bunch of gold, as in three. I got a bunch of good potions too. I think I'll save these uh, better potions. There's definitely something I want to do. Save these better potions. 
But we're not in this episode off as well. We'll see. We'll see how we'll end off this episode. I really want to fight uh, the Infernal Hound some more. See if I can get his drop. So I guess I will meet you guys down there. Uh oh, I think we got something. Molten collar. All right. So I killed at least eight. Holy shit! Did you see that big ass one? <laughs> Hello, sir. Come back here. You want to drop another one? That'd be nice. No. You want to drop a sapphire token though? Hey, that can actually be useful. <gasps> hey, mage weapon. Very curious to know what this is actually doing right now. I don't know what it did. <laughs> I think it got stuck somewhere and just made that noise. Is this what we needed though? Multicolor calls forth a rideable infernal hound. While mounted, you are immune to extreme heat. Yo. Woo! Oh my. What the fuck? Yo, it scared the shit out of me. This dude's ass. This dude's ass. <laughs> he did nothing. Hey, man. Can you, like. What? How does this weapon work? This uh, ring that I have. How does this work? Holy hell. I got petrified. You see how fast I am on this hound? This is amazing. This is amazing. Holy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go all the way across. Oh. That's cool that you are immune to heat too with it. Alright, let's uh. Let's bail. Probably should store all this gold. Uh, let's also. While we're at it, let's see what this actually does. Oh. Rains from the sky. Okay, that makes more sense now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am going to enjoy this hound a lot.